Hey you guys, I am back with another Wednesday word. If you don't know me, my name is Alex. And today I just want to speak peace over any hearts that are feeling like they're in a little bit of chaos. And I know the Lord's going to use this to minister again to me as well, because this is a word like he gave to me personally to minister to myself. So God bless y'all. And let's just go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much, God, for directing our feet, God, and removing any worry or anxiety from our hearts, God, that we're not storing up any anxious concerns, Lord God, but that we're pouring our hearts out at your feet, Lord, just trusting in you and knowing that you are over us. You're hovering over us. You have us under your wings, God. We're protected. We're safe and sound. And we can trust in that and we can trust in your leading God and we can trust that you're a good shepherd. In Jesus name. Amen. So, oh, I didn't even pull it up on my phone. There's a scripture that I want to start off with here. Here it is. All right. So I came across this scripture in Psalms the other day and it to a T described how I was feeling. Before I read this scripture, I was telling the Lord, like, Lord, I feel lost. Like, it just feels like I have been following you and obeying you, but there's things that still don't make sense. And there's some things that are up in the air and I'm waiting on some things still. And I'm trying to figure out how to navigate a lot of this stuff. And God, I just need your help. Like, I feel lost and I need clarity. I need you to help me see what you're needing me to see and move in the way that you need me to move because right now I feel a little clueless and after praying that the Lord led me to this scripture in Psalms where David said I have wandered like a lost sheep look for your servant because I have not forgotten your commands it's Psalm 119 176 and that's exactly how I felt because like In the place that I'm in, it's like, Lord, like, I haven't forgotten your commands. I know what your commands are. Like, my heart is to pursue you and follow you and obey you. But please come and find me because I feel lost right now. And maybe those of you that are listening right now, you're in the same place where you just feel like a lack of clarity, a lack of direction. You've done all that you know how to do and you don't really know what else to do, but it just feels like you maybe there's more you need to know or like you just feel like you don't have everything that you need right now I don't know what it is but I'm sure like there's many of you that feel how I've been feeling you know I I know that I'm not alone in this that's what we can expect to feel a lot of times when we're walking in faith in blind faith there's a lot of unknown and so of course i'm sure there's going to be moments that our soul is going to feel a little chaos and feel lost because it's freaking out thinking okay you've brought me here god now what you know maybe that's what you're saying right now god you've brought me here but now what? Like, now what? And so after reading that scripture, the Lord brought me to Luke 15, 4 through 6, which says, What man among you who has a hundred sheep and loses one of them does not leave the ninety-nine in the open field and go after the lost one until he finds it? When he has found it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders, and coming home, he calls his friends and neighbors together, saying to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. So when reading the scripture, we know ultimately here the Lord's talking about those of his children that are lost in this world and they have went astray. They've parted ways with Jesus or they don't know Jesus at all, but they are supposed to come to know him. And Jesus comes and he leaves the 99 and he goes after that one. You know, he rescues the one and brings him back into his flock. But the way the Lord used this scripture to speak to me in this moment that I'm in was the Lord was comforting me, letting me know. And this is what he wants to comfort you and let you know as his sheep, he's not going to allow you to 
feel lost. You may feel lost, but that doesn't mean that you are lost. The Lord is going to come and he's going to pick you up and place you on his shoulders to take you home, to take you to the place that he has destined for you to be. Take that for yourself, that the Lord's going to come pick you up and direct you and, and shepherd you. He's not going to allow you to remain in a place where you feel like you are lost. Isaiah chapter 30, verses 18 through 21. Therefore, the Lord is waiting to show you mercy and is rising up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a just God. All who wait patiently for him are happy. All who wait patiently for him are happy. For people will live on Zion and Jerusalem. You will never weep again. He will show favor to you at the sound of your outcry. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. So I want to stop there. When all these thoughts were in my mind, the song came to my heart that says, I called, you answered, and you came to my rescue, and I want to be where you are. And I knew the Lord was speaking to my heart, telling me, like, I have been crying out to him and he's going to come and rescue me. You have been crying out to him. He's going to come and rescue you. You have called out. He hears you. You've asked him for clarity. He hears you. You've asked him for direction. He hears you. You've asked him for provision. He hears you. And so now we're just waiting we're waiting, and all who wait patiently for him are happy. But it says here, as soon as he hears, he will answer you. He's showing favor to the sound of your outcry. So please know that he hears you. The Lord will give you meager bread and water during oppression, but your teacher will not hide any longer. Your eyes will see your teacher, and whenever you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear this command behind you. This is the way. Walk in it. And so this scripture here makes me think of the Good Shepherd scripture. I think it's, I could be wrong, but I think it's John chapter 10, maybe. And it talks about how God's sheep know his voice. So you are his sheep. You are going to know his voice. And it talks about that God's sheep are able to discern his voice from what is him and what is the enemy. And you may have a lot of things coming at you right now in your mind when it comes to direction, when it comes to seeking clarity. You may have opportunities presented to you while you're in the midst of seeking clarity and direction and you're feeling lost. You're going to know what is from the Lord versus what is not as his sheep. And he is going to speak to you and he's going to say to you, now this is the way, walk in it. Your spirit is going to know and you're going to follow it. So do not grow weary. Do not slip into depression thinking that God has left you. He is going to direct you like a good shepherd and your spirit will know when he is saying to you, this is the way, walk in it. And so this is the perspective shift that I want to give you right now. While you're in the midst of these emotions that are trying to tangle you up and get you imprisoned in your mind to where you're thinking, I have no way out of this situation. I am kind of frozen because I don't really know what to do. I want to break through that ice and slice through those lies in your mind right now and give you the perspective shift that you're not lost. You're just waiting. You've been walking in blind faith and now you're just waiting. And I'm receiving that for myself right now. I have been walking in blind faith, but now I am just waiting. I am not lost. 
You are not lost. You're trusting in your heavenly father, your shepherd to guide you with his rod and with his staff and to whisper into your ears to say, now this is the way, walk in it. So you're not lost, you're just waiting. Luke 1, 45. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill what he has spoken to her. You know what the Lord's spoken to you and you know your situation. And if you're here and you're listening to this, your situation probably doesn't look like exactly what the Lord has spoken to you. And it very well could look opposite or it just you're just where you're at right now. You've been feeling lost. Now you have the clarity and the comfort from the Lord, the Lord just telling you, no, you're just waiting. You're just waiting on me. That's it. Um, God is also speaking to us right now. Blessed is she or he who believed what the Lord had spoken to her or him. Blessed are you when you believe. The righteous will live by faith. Take that. The righteous will live by faith. Keep living by faith. Keep trusting in God. And know in the moments where you feel lost that you're only waiting on God. He's not going to leave you. When I think about that, it makes me think the Lord used the story of Jonah to remind me of how good of a father he is and how he will not leave me whatsoever because God told Jonah to go somewhere. Jonah like outright disobeyed him knowing who God is just flat out disobeyed him and God still relentlessly pursued Jonah to get him to the place that he needed Jonah to go even after Jonah just flat out disobeyed him. And that comforted me because that told me like the Lord's going to make sure that I get to the places that I need to get to and do the things that I need to do. But in the midst of me speaking that, that reminds me of another verse that the Lord has been speaking. So I'm going to share these two things with you that the Lord was speaking to me the other day, which really ties into feeling lost and what we do with the directions that the Lord gives us. Okay. So the Lord can give you direction while you're waiting on him. He comes in with direction, but then what, you know, are you going to by faith, believe and trust in God and leap? If he's calling you to leap, maybe this direction that he's giving you is something that's big and it's scary. Are you going to obey? Okay, so I will instruct you and show you the way to go. With my eye on you, I will give you counsel. Do not be like a horse or mule without understanding that must be controlled with bit and bridle or, or bridle or else it will not come near you. So let us not be stubborn. Let us hear the word of the Lord. We will discern his voice. You'll know it as, as his sheep and follow that direction. Do not be without understanding. So God, I just thank you, Lord Jesus, that those that are listening right now and including myself, if you give us direction, Lord, we will know it. We will receive it and we will walk forward in it. Not letting fear get in the way, not letting anything stop us, not being stubborn, but being willing. God, give us a willing spirit that we would obey your commands, no matter what they are, no matter what the cost is, God. Thank you, Father. And this is something else the Lord spoke to me through this dream that I had, and I'm not going to go into the details, but the word that the Lord gave me was you're going to have to venture out in faith to get this breakthrough. The miracle you're needing requires your obedience. And so right now, when you 
in the place where you have been feeling lost and you've been needing clarity and you've been needing direction. So the Lord's going to come in with that direction. You're just waiting on it right now. But this direction that he gives you may require you to go outside of the limits that you've had in your life. It may require you to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to venture out into the unknown an even greater unknown than you've experienced before. But in order for you to get the breakthrough, because while you're feeling lost, I can guarantee you there's something in you that is needing more than clarity, more than direction, just needing breakthrough, just needing a miracle. And so the Lord is just giving you this in advance to prepare your hearts for the direction that he's going to give you, that you're going to have to obey it if you want to see God's miraculous hand in your life. You can't just sit on what he said and do nothing with it because then nothing is going to happen. You have to take it and walk it out. And if you, this is also something that the Lord spoke to me from Habakkuk chapter two, verses one through four. It's the scripture that talks about, you know, write down the vision and make it plain. And so that those that read it can run with it. And before that, it says that uh, he's standing at, oh my goodness, Oh, that's embarrassing that I don't even know. I guess it's Habakkuk. Lord, forgive me if I'm like so off on this. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. I guess maybe it's Habakkuk that is that's saying this. Um, but he says that he's standing at the watchtower to wait on God to wait on God to show him what he needs to be shown. And then that's when the Lord comes in and says, write down the vision and make it plain. And he gives them the vision. And so what the Lord wants us to know right now is that we just need to be standing and waiting for God at the watchtower, like be in fervent prayer, waiting on him, knowing that he's going to come through with the vision. And when he comes through with the vision, literally write it down, literally make it plain. And I know it's literal because the Lord was literally speaking to me. I was talking to him about vision and everything and how I needed a better grasp and understanding of it. And I was thinking to myself that morning, I need to write it down so I can really understand, you know, what this is so other people can understand it. And the Lord told me to read in Habakkuk and I totally forgot that scripture was there, even though I, I normally know it's always there, but it just, I wasn't even thinking that it was there. And so when I got to chapter two, I was like, yes, like the Lord was confirming, Alex, I need you to write this down. And even if you don't have, if you feel lost right now and you're waiting on God and you're needing direction, you're needing clarity, you're needing vision, sit with the Lord. I would encourage you to sit with the Lord and type out whatever you feel, whatever vision you have now, even if it's barely anything and just sit with the Lord and see what else comes. You know, the Lord could come in that moment, in that quiet moment and give you more vision. But just write down, you know, what comes to your heart and, and the Lord's going to come in and give you clarity. And so that's what the Lord wants to speak to our hearts today. The point is, he's a good shepherd. He knows where you're at. You're not lost. You're just waiting. And he's going to come in and give you clarity. But you just have to stand and be watchful and be prayerful and receive what he gives you. Do not be stubborn and walk the thing out. No matter how big it is, you're going to have to venture out for this one. And that's because that's how you're going to see God's miraculous power. And that's what he wants to show off in your life is his glory. So do not limit God. Do not put him in a box. Like think outside of yourself. You're not the one walking this thing out. God is with you. Be strong, be courageous, do not fear, for he is with you. Did we read Isaiah? I don't think we read Isaiah 64 for yet. Uh, 
From the ancient times, no one has heard, no one has listened to, no eye has seen any God except you who acts on behalf of the one who waits for him. He's going to act on your behalf for you waiting for him. He has seen you wait on him. He's going to act. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. That all sounds like rest. We can rest knowing that he's a good shepherd and he's leading us. He renews my life. He leads me along the right paths. He's going to lead you along the right paths. For his name's sake, for his name's sake, even when I go through the darkest valley, when you can't see, when you don't know where you're at, I fear no danger. There's no fear, for you are with me. He is with you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. His direction, his guidance is our comfort. Who he is as God is our comfort. And to end this, just another firm reminder, Hebrews 13, 5. I will never leave you or abandon you. I will never leave you or abandon you. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to leave you feeling like you're lost. So let's pray. And I hope you have a blessed day. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you, God, for gathering your sheep. God, I thank you for gathering your sheep. That's what he's doing right now. Any sheep that feels lost and without direction, he's gathering his flock together to be in one accord. God, I thank you that you're preparing your bride and you're putting us in the positions that you need us, Lord. You're filling our mouth up with your words, God. You're touching our mouth with your hot, fiery stone. God, the hot, fiery coal, Lord God, refining us, renewing us, cleansing us, God, so that we can be filled with your speech, God. God, I thank you, Lord, that you have taught us to live by faith, God, that we can trust in your voice, knowing that we can discern you and know that you're going to direct us, God, and you're not going to leave us and you're not going to abandon us. God, I thank you for the perspective shift that we're not lost. We're just waiting on you, God, to bring direction, to bring clarity, God. And I thank you. I pray on the behalf of my brothers and my sisters and myself, Lord God, that you are coming through with clarity, God, with direction and with provision and with protection, God, and with vision, God. You're coming in. You're coming through, Lord God. You've broken open the gate, Lord. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. God has got you. See y'all next Wednesday.